Sure, Baba. Sat math question on lines. Okay, let's go to the question. 5x positive sum y equals to 1, ax positive by equals to 1. In the given pair of equations a and b are constants, the graph of this pair of equations in the x-ray plane is a pair of per perpendicular lines. Which of the following pairs of equations also represents a pair of uh, perpendicular lines? Okay, before we start solving this question, uh, we need to understand some stuff on uh, perpendicular lines. Okay, here uh, when I look at the given two equations of lines, uh, both of them are in uh, standard form because uh, here we have x term, y term on the left side and uh, the constant on the right side. In a linear equation, if we have uh, the x term, y term uh, on the left side and the constant on the right side, then we have to consider uh, that the equation is in standard form. Okay, now let me uh, consider some other uh, linear equation which is in standard form. There is 3x positive. 2y equals to 7. So here uh, this equation, this linear equation is, is in standard form because we have x and y on the left side and constant on the right side. Okay, I want to get the equation of a line which is perpendicular to this one. So what should I do? So I just have to do some simple transformation in this one to get the equation of line which is perpendicular to this one. So for that, what I need to do is I have to look at the number that I have in front of y. So 2. Please don't consider the sign we have over here. Whether it's a positive or negative doesn't matter. So please consider only the number we have in front of y. That's 2. This 2 should be taken as the uh, number in front of x. And now just consider the number that we have in front of x. What is it? It's 3. So this should be taken in front of y. So then we get 3y. And what sign do we have between the x term and y term over here? It's positive. Just change it to negative and also change the constant of the right side to some other new constant, say k. So this is the equation of a line which is perpendicular to this line. Uh, that is 3x positive y equals to 7. So this is the idea behind getting an equation, getting uh, the equation of a line which is perpendicular to the given line. Okay, so what if, if I have negative sign? Let's look at an example. So let's consider 3x negative 2y uh, equals to 5. Okay, I want to get the equation of a line which is perpendicular to this one. So as I said already, don't consider the negative sign over here. It just consider the number in front of y. We have 2. This 2 should be taken in front of x. And consider the number in front of x3. This should be taken in front of y. And here in the given equation, we have negative. Just change it to positive. And also change the constant on the right side to some other new constant, say k. So this is the equation of a line which is perpendicular to this line. 3x negative 2y equals to 5. Okay, so what if uh, the uh, leading question is negative? For example, let's consider negative 3x uh, positive 5y equals to 2. So here, uh, the leading question, I mean, the uh, x term is having negative sign. Still, this equation is in standard form, but the x term is uh, negative. So how can you get perpendicular line for this one? So before uh, we start switching the numbers we have in front of x and y, our first work is uh, to get the negative sign that we have for the x term. For that, we have to multiply both sides of this uh, equation by negative 1. So when you multiply both sides by negative 1, let's see what's happening. Uh, so negative 1 times negative 3x positive 5y and on the right side also we have to multiply by negative 1. When I distribute this negative 1 to negative 3x, that is negative times negative will become positive. 1 times 3x is 3x, negative times positive will become negative. 1 times 5y is 5y and the right side negative 1 times 2 is negative 2. Okay, anyways, uh, so in the given equation actually I had negative sign for x term. But now uh, we don't have it because I multiply both sides by negative 1. Okay, so now to get uh, the equation of the line perpendicular to this one, so to consider the number in front of uh, y, which is y, so it should be taken in front of x, that is yx. And here we have 3, it should be taken in front of uh, y, then you'll be getting uh, 3y, and change this negative sign to positive, and also change the constant term on the right side. So this is the equation of the line, which is perpendicular to the given line. Okay, so this is the idea behind uh, getting the equation of a line, which is perpendicular to the given line, when the equation of a line is given in standard form. Okay, now let me take a let, let's go to our original problem. So in our original problem, uh, so the question clearly says that these two lines are perpendicular in the x-ray plane. So uh, because there is an in information over here, so the graph of this pair of equation, the x-ray plane is a pair of perpendicular lines. So both of them uh, are perpendicular to each other. Okay, now let me take the first line over here, that is 5x positive 7y equals to 1. Okay, so I want to get the equation of a line, uh, which is perpendicular to this one. For that, I have to consider the number in front of y, which is 7. The 7 should be taken in front of x, then I'll be getting 7x. And here, the number we have in front of x is just y, that should be taken in front of y, then I'm getting 5y. And here, we have positive, so it should be changed to negative, and we have k. So this is the equation of the line, which is perpendicular to this one. 
But already uh, the uh, equation of line, which is perpendicular to this one, is given over here. That is uh, a x positive uh, b y equals to one. So now we got the equation of the line over here, which is perpendicular to this line, five x positive seven equals one. Already there is an equation given in the question itself. That is a x positive b y uh, equals to one. This are uh, this one also is perpendicular to the line five x positive seven equals to one. So both the lines over here are perpendicular to this line. Since both the lines are perpendicular to the line five x positive seven equals to one, so these two lines must be either parallel or the uh, the two equations over here must represent the same line. Okay, so if if two lines are parallel or if two lines coincide, so in the equations of the two lines, the coefficient of x and coefficients of y must be same. So these two lines are either parallel or these two equations must represent the same line. So the coefficient of x and coefficients of y must be same. Here the coefficient of x is a. Here the coefficient of uh, x is seven. So a equals to seven. And here the coefficient of y is b. And the coefficient of y over here is negative five. Okay. Now I got the value of a equals to seven and b is equal to negative five. Now I have to check. Uh, I have to check each option uh, with these uh, two values. I mean with the values of a and b. I got over. I got over here. Okay, now let's take the first para. I mean, uh, uh, let's take the first uh, pair of equations we have in option A. That is, ten uh, x positive seven y equals to one. Okay, so now, uh, so let me uh, now. What I need to do is I have to get the equation of line which is perpendicular to this one because the question clearly says which of the following pairs of equations also represents a uh, pair of perpendicular lines. In each option, uh, the equations of uh, two lines uh, are uh, perpendicular. Okay, now let's. Uh, now I've taken the line uh, in option A. I got 10x positive 7 equals to 1. And also, let me take the second equation uh, in option A. That is ax negative 2 2by equals to 1. Okay, now uh, for A we can plug in 7 over here. Then it will become 7x negative uh, 2 times for B negative 5. We, are, uh, we have y equals to 1. Okay, so 7x negative times negative will become positive. 2 times 5 is uh, 10y equals to 1. Okay, so this is the first line, and uh, the second line has become like this when I plug in uh, the values for a and b. Okay, so let's uh, compare the first line and second line whether they are perpendicular. Or not. For that, we have to take the number in front of uh, y uh, should be taken in front of x. That's correct because here we have seven. Uh, the number seven we have in front of y. The same number seven we have in front of x over here. Okay, so the first one, the first point is okay. The second point. The number in front of x should be uh, the number in front of y. That's also okay because here we have ten in front of x. Here we have ten uh, in front of y. Okay, here if I have positive sign, so here it should be negative. So the signs must be. I mean, uh, the signs of the y term must be opposite. If one is positive, another one is negative. But in this case, in option A, we get the same sign for the y term. Y terms. So uh, the pair of lines that we have in option A cannot be perpendicular. So we can reject option A. Okay, now uh, let's check option B. Okay, now let me take or uh, let me reject option A first. Now I'm going to take the two lines in option B. That is 10x positive 7y equals to 1, and uh, the second one is uh, ax positive 2by is equal to 1. Now let's uh, substitute the values for A and B. That is A is equal to 7, then it will become 7x positive 2 times for B. We have negative 5 times uh, y equals to 1, and 7x positive times A will become negative 10y equals to 1. Okay, now let's check uh, whether these two lines are perpendicular. Actually, this is the first line in option B, and the second line becomes seven uh, x negative ten y equals to one because I just plugged in a is equal to seven, b is equal to negative five. Okay, here the number in front of y is seven. The same number we have in front of x. The first point is okay. The second point, the number in front of x over here is ten. The same number we have over here in front of y, and y terms are having different signs. Okay, so the pair of lines uh, in option B satisfies all the three points uh, which we require to check whether the two lines are perpendicular. So uh, option B uh, is correct. Anyways, uh, we can check option uh, C also. So now for that we have to take uh, the two lines. I mean the two equations we have in option C. Okay, let me take uh, 10x positive 7y equals to one, and we have 2ax positive by equals to one. Okay, now let's plug in the values for a and b, and then when I do so, like uh, two times seven, uh, because a is seven, two times seven will become fourteen x, and for b we have negative five, past two times seven it will become negative five y equals to one. Okay, now let's compare uh, these two equations. So the number in front of uh, y is seven, but here we have fourteen, that's different. And number in front of x is ten. Here, number in front of y is uh, five. Okay, so even the uh, first two points uh, for the perpendicular lines are not satisfied. 
so we can reject uh, option c so let's reject option c now let me take the two lines in option d that is 5x negative 7y uh, equals to 1 okay now the second equation is ax positive by equals to 1 and uh, for a we have uh, 7 so 7x and for uh, uh, i'm sorry here i have tried by so for b when i plug in negative 5 it will become negative 5y equals to 1 okay now let's compare this one here uh, the number uh, we have uh, in front of uh, y so here we have in front of uh, x and the number we have uh, in front of x here we have in front of y but the sign over here is negative here also negative the, the y term should not have the same sign if two lines are perpendicular so it does not satisfy the third point so we can reject uh, option d so the answer the correct answer choice for this question is option b